I've never seen anything like it, this fire. It's extraordinary what's happened because of, we've been in drought for the last three years. So um, when you get a fire situation like that, that's what happens, you get something like this. It's the worst I've seen. And it's the worst the locals have seen here that have lived all their lives. They've never seen anything like it. Never seen fires, but not as bad as this one. No. It was so quick and so hot and so much of it. It just took, took everything. No, no, this, this building's been standing since 1928. There's no tourists here, you know, that need this stuff. And, got, and we're still blocked off. Remember, they're not letting anyone in at the, the moment. The roads are still closed. Yeah, and, and the trees on the road, so it needs to be safe for when the tourists come back. Yeah, and because the caves is still closed, until that gets up and running again, uh, they, they won't let the, anyone come back. <laughs> We're all right. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. Thanks, Wayne. Thanks, you later. And this area has actually been affected the last three years, I think, now, with, with fires. So, And because fires have been so widespread across Australia that everyone's now going to be wanting to keep, you know, the tourism back and get businesses back um, yeah, back up and running. So there's going to be a big demand right across this part of Australia for people to come and visit. A lot of people from all over the world come here. We get people from everywhere because they love our little koalas and our kangaroos and kookaburras. And a third of our koala population has been really hammered, so which is a bit of a concern to the country because it's like a national treasure. We've got the Alpine, we've got all the national parks, we've got the sea. So what could you ask for? It's our home. Yeah.